Hey guys, what I would like to do in this video is show you the video capabilities of the Huawei P30 selfie camera or front camera and by extension I want to show you the Huawei P30 Pro camera because the front camera on the Huawei P30 and P30 Pro are identical, it's an f2.0 32 megapixel single camera it's kind of in a teardrop design rather than a notch and so far I would say that the quality is very good but rather than talk about it I'd rather show you it. Now right now I have got my phone on a tripod but I will be walking around with it like this because 99% of people who record videos from their phone that's how they do it. They take it out of their pocket, they don't have a tripod with them and they just walk around. It's kind of pointless for me to put this on my gimbal and show you it because I want to show you everything about the front camera, good and bad. So I'm not going to be using my lavalier mic. The audio you will be, you will be hearing is the audio that you get from the phone. So if it's not good, you know, it's because the phone is not good. But I did a quick test the other day and if you watch that video, you probably know already that the mic quality on this phone is actually pretty good for a phone. Of course, it doesn't compete against shotgun mics or lavalier mics and things like that. But just for taking a phone out of your pocket, the audio quality is quite good. I'm not going to be playing any kind of music over it that I don't think that's kind of necessary and I, I think it's kind of pointless when I'm looking at videos I don't like when uh, when music is playing over video clips because I want to not only see the video quality I want to hear it this video will be recorded uh, in 1080p at 30 frames per second because that is what the front selfie camera can record and the back camera can do 4k but the front camera the highest setting is a 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio 1080p at 30 frames per second so I'm actually going to go down to Tesco which is why I thought I might as well grab the phone and we'll see what this phone can do so guys I'm in my car now this is not a test that many people do but it's something that interests me I've always loved the idea of being able to record in my car with my phone that's something I've always you know wanted but we are a long way away of phones replacing action cameras. But I wanted to show you guys anyway, I've got the phone up, I can see it shaking up and down, it's shaking a huge amount, so I apologize if this video is bad to watch. Now, I don't have aircon on, it's actually really warm, very warm right now, but I've turned the aircon off just so that there's not too much noise. Um, I'm getting blinded by the sun here. Um, so there's not too much noise, all you'll be able to hear in the car is the sound of the engine but it is, it is shaking a lot, it is shaking a lot and I'm looking at the, the, the screen there rather than the camera because it's away to that side but uh, yeah this, just, this was just a quick test just to show you how this phone holds up when you are in the car and in the car I mean by using a suction cup, placing your phone in a mobile phone holder attach it to the suction cup and then watching the phone kind of jump jump up and down just because of the uh, the movement of the car going up and down I probably could get the phone positioned a little bit more stable so that it doesn't um, it doesn't jump around as much but maybe it's a good test that I don't do that you know maybe it's good that I show you it moving around a lot so let me know what you think about this part let me know what you think about this in the car I don't think this is something that applies to most people most people would have the phone stable in their hand but I thought it was an interesting test. Let me know what you think about this. And then in the next video, it should be a little bit more stable. So I'm still in my car, I've parked up, but I just want to quickly show you how I recorded that last clip. I've got a suction cup here. This is a Joby one. I've actually got two of these, but I've got a few other kind of cheaper ones. Now, the suction cup itself is, is quite solid. It doesn't move around much, but the mobile phone holder that I've used, and I've got about a dozen of, or so of these but this particular one it's quite good in some ways it can hold the mic and different things but it's quite shaky i mean if you see it like there in hindsight i probably should have picked a different mobile phone holder but maybe not maybe that's a good example to show you how the phone holds up when you're driving and when you've got the phone placed in here hey guys so i'm outside tesco i still have to go in i'm all prepared with my bags etc um i thought i'd come down here the car park's actually quite quiet and I wanted to kind of get closer to the road just to let you hear well things like that you can hear you can hear the ga cars going by uh, it gives you an idea of what it's like and how it handles noise etc 
Now I actually had a quick cheeky look at the, the clip from the Cardi and I thought, you know, maybe some people will disagree, but I thought the stabilization was really, really good. It's certainly the best stabilization I've had from a phone in a car. It's not as good as a GoPro, it's not as good as a Sony action camera, but as far as just putting a phone up in a car, normally it, the, the video is almost unusable. I reckon if I had to secure a better mobile phone holder on, you know, into that position to the, the Joby suction cup, I reckon I could maybe even live stream from the car. And that opens up for me as a YouTuber a lot of different possibilities and different things that I can do. Now, that, you know, that benefit, it's actually too loud down here, but that benefit that I was talking about there, the stabilization, it is one of the best features of this phone. The, the stabilization in the front camera and the back camera, I think are pretty excellent. I think it's, um, I think it's one of the best features of the phone and, you know, I had a play around with the Samsung S10 Plus. I do think that that's an amazing phone. I think it's an amazing camera on it, but I also think that having played about with this, certainly from the, the front camera point of view, I think the, the front camera, the selfie camera, I think the stabilization is better than this. And again, when I'm talking about the Huawei P30, I'm talking about the Huawei P30 Pro as well. So I am still in the Tesco car park. I normally do my, my video reviews and my video tests for smartphones and different things in a few different areas that I can walk with, you know, trees, parks and different things. Um, I thought I would get out today, you know, I was going to Tesco anyway, I just thought I'd go to here just because there's, there's a little bit more going on here. Sometimes I think when you're, you know, kind of around trees and bushes, nothing but trees and bushes, you really don't get exposed to, you know, everything like cars and noise and there's like an electrical, can you hear that? buzzing in the background and um, now so far again give me your opinion but so far I think that the, the audio quality the microphone quality on this phone is absolutely amazing certainly a, a, you know a jump above what I've been using over the last few years but stabilization I think is really good but just pay attention to some other things as well you know sometimes you get a little bit of warping you know when you move around too much with stabilization because it's kind of the one of the side effects when they're trying to fix it but I think, you know, you can see that the sunlight's coming in here. But um, overall, I mean, I, I would say that this is better than the Samsung S10 Plus, and I would easily say it's the best one that I've used. I, I would say it's the best, certainly from a, a, a selfie front camera point of view. Um, yes, I love the fact that the Samsung S10 Plus recorded at 4K, but 1080p, 30 frames per second, I, was always, I would always take a better quality 1080p one which had better stabilization which you know which this does uh, over 4k and as good as 4k is i would always take higher quality stable 1080p over 4k now what i would like to do after this i'll walk about a little bit more but what i'd like to do after this is just wait a few hours unfortunately it's the summer it's 9 p.m and it's still broad daylight but what i would like to do um later on is go out when it's a little bit darker it's not going to be pitch black because it is the summer here, but go out in the dark because a lot of people say that low light performance is one of the things that sets this phone's camera apart from most of the, the, the competition. But again, let me know what you think so far of this. I will be doing more tests with the selfie camera as far as actually using it for videos that I record. But um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Hey guys, so it is... It's about 11 p.m. now, and this is really as dark as it gets. Um, it probably looks a little bit darker on the phone than it is. It's quite bright, actually. You know, even even at this time of tonight, it's colder, of course. Um, so this part of the video is to show you low light performance, and obviously, when I come into street lights, you can see what it's like. Um, low light performance is an area where I think most cameras struggle, action cameras struggle with it, smartphones generally, generally struggle with it, all cameras do struggle with it, you do need good lighting, but I, I would say that this is probably the best performance I've had video wise from a smartphone. You know, I, I've did some tests with some uh, mid-range smartphones where Literally the whole thing is black because you can't see anything. Now, right now I'm under trees so you can't see anything. That's quite good. As I said, you know, when I, when I do videos like this, I do like to show 
exactly what you're going to get and you know when you come into the light when you come into the street lights performance does get better and see and um, you know maybe this gives you a good idea as to what you'll get if you're on holiday walking along a beach at a nightclub that kind of thing you can see where I was standing over there I mean it's dark very dark you know uh, the street light isn't even penetrating the trees there so maybe it gives you an idea as to what you can expect as you know as I was saying there it, it looks pitch black here but that's because it is it is pitch black you're, you're going to find any camera would find it difficult here you know I think most cameras would struggle with this kind of uh, lighting there you know under the trees and things like that but I would generally say that um, performance, low light performance here, I would say is very good. And you can see how you can see how good it is actually when I do go under the street lights. You know, when when there is a little bit of lighting like that. You know, I'm quite dark there, but let me see it here. Yeah, so you can see when there's lighting. Yeah, it's really good. So, uh, personally, for me, most of the videos I will be doing with this phone will probably be in the house, probably be at home, or it'll probably be in the car, and it will be either daylight or it will have lights. But let me know what you think about this, guys. My opinion. Well, I think this is actually quite good. So, I am back home. I'm in my kitchen, and the light is better again. That's because I've got daylight bulbs. But if I do that, you can see it goes away again. But even the living room is maybe a little bit of a, a better example of low light performance. Gets a little bit grainy, a little bit grainy when um, the light is gone. And here, yeah, it's really bad. I'm not showing you that to, to criticize the Huawei P30. I think it's important to show you what it's like. All cameras struggle in the dark. They struggle with low light. Lighting is a big aspect of video. And, you know, in here with the daylight bulbs, it kind of recreates what it's like in the daytime. And I would say that video quality is really good. But overall, overall, I think that video quality for the Huawei P30 and by extension, the Huawei P30 Pro, I would say that overall, the video quality is very, very good from the front camera. A 32 megapixel sensor camera, f2.0, I think it's one of the best features of the camera and it's certainly one of the features that attracted me, attracted me to the, the Huawei P30. Low light performance for photos and for videos, and I'll talk about photos in a different video, but for video especially, I, I was quite impressed with performance at night time. You do still need lighting, but in comparison, you know, the quality of this phone when compared to certain other phones in the market, certainly from the phones I tested before, I would say the low light performance in this is good. I would say video stabilization is good. And I would say that the microphone quality, yes, again, it's not going to replace a shotgun microphone. It's not going to replace a lavalier mic, but audio quality, video stabilization, low light performance, all of those I would say are, are better than most of the, the competition out there. I do think that, you know, when you're talking about fl flagship phones, you know, you, you you get to a certain point where you're kind of arguing over minor details, you know, there's not a huge difference between them. But certainly for me, coming from a flagship from 2018, a phone that had, you know, a fast process, etc. from last year, um, I have noticed a big difference. I'm very happy with the mic quality. I'm very happy with the video stabilization. Video stabilization is an area where most phones I've used in the past have been quite bad, but you know, looking at it, walking around, jumping up and down. Um, I would say generally speaking, when you're holding the phone, stabilization is really good and low light performance, I, I would say, is much better than most other phones that I've tried. Let me know what you think, guys. I, you know, I want to give you, give you my opinion in these types of videos, but I don't want to influence you too much. If you disagree with, you, uh, with me, if you disagree with my opinion of what the Huawei P30 selfie camera front camera whatever you want to call it if you dis disagree with me please do leave a comment let me know what you think about it um i i'm generally happy with it and i am hoping to do more videos with this phone because of it because yeah 
it's in my pocket all the time so maybe I will start doing more live streams from my phone maybe I'll start doing more videos um, I would say generally though the, the camera is one area with the Huawei P30 and Huawei P30 Pro certainly the front camera the back camera is actually better um, yes, I do think that this is an area where the phone excels. Let me know what you think about it, guys. Let me know what you think about the, the audio quality, the colours, the, the graininess, everything. Let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the continued support. And I will speak to you all in the next one. Just a final spin. Let's see if we can get this a little bit darker again. There we go. Uh, right. Over to you guys. Let me know what you think. Till next time. Take care.